everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have received a package for my channel. So without further ado I'm going to open it because I've got no idea what it is. I received this quite a while ago. I have been quarantining it. No way. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I mean, this is going to take me a while to do. I'm so excited about this. Shut up. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take it out of its package. individual colours, no white, so no brown, so you can't make the thing that it shows you photoshopped on the box. So I will have to substitute some other colours, but this is exciting isn't it? Well, I'm gonna make it I don't know what you can and can't see, so I apologise if this is a bad angle. Oh, it comes with a paintbrush. Just all looked inside. How exciting. Can you see this little guy? That's it. Oh, this is leaked. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a skin tone. So I'm going to put a little bit of white. Ugh. Use this. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of blue. Uh, not blue, pink. <laughs> Making this known a Caucasian boy. <laughs> mixy, mixy. Oh, hopefully that's coming on nicely. I'm going to put a little bit more white. Right, well how about this? I'm going to put some more white in the side next to it. Please. <laughs> Sorry I won't put you that way ever again. Oh sugar. It's too much. I'm going to scoop some out and put it next to it on here and then I'm going to scoop some of this into it. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly the type of colour I was hoping. A nice Caucasian boring white colour. Start with his little hands. I should not have wet my brush. That's my fault.
feels like it's going to take a while to dry. In the meantime, let's move on. What does the box look like? What does it look like on the box? Blue heart and blue jeans. Mm. I can go with the blue heart, I reckon. I will use this brush and I'm just going to dip into this blue. I'm not going to mix any colours. <laughs> This guy's not going to be a one coat wonder, I tell you that for free. Editing made me jumping in here with a voiceover to ask you all a question. What do you do to keep yourself entertained while you're painting? Stay tuned to find out what I do. Yep, yeah, I sing to myself. As I'm going along, I am trying to get all the edges with a little detail brush. That sometimes doesn't go so well because they get overzealous and then I paint everywhere. <laughs> as soon as I've finished a section, I am going back in to do another section that's far enough away from the wet paint that they don't smudge and go weird. Um, do you know what? What's really weird? His little tiny mouth, what is he doing? Like, is he going, ooh, I'm a noob? Don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do one coat. Should I show you my face while I'm speaking? Hello. <laughs> I'm going to do one coat of everything everywhere. And then I will off camera do the second coat. And then I'll show you what this guy looks like at the end. How does that sound? Pardon? It's okay? I think you're saying it's okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Once again, just showing off my amazing ability to improvise songs about the things that I'm doing. And now I'm randomly dipping into lots of different colours to make the brown. I'm gonna put a chunk of yellow in it in the hopes that that will help. I don't think it did. I feel like I might be the only person in the universe that is bad at mixing colours to make brown. That seems like the easiest job to do. I'm also not very good at painting within the lines apparently. <laughs> movie magic we're onto the trousers already. I made this colour by mixing the blue from the hat and the brown of the boots and belt and creating this really gorgeous colour. He's a gnome in jeans. So I'm sort of copying the colours from the box so I decided to do the top in a lovely red colour and as you can see it's gonna need many many coats. Hey his coat's gonna need many coats. It's great wordplay. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> So I would be interested in finding out if anybody else has had this thought. Why on earth do the people that sculpt these ornaments make the base of their the top from this little guy so thick? Shouldn't there be a little bum there? Oh my. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like this guy should have green eyes. Now I need to make grey for this guy's hair. Oh, not a bad 
that in there. And I'm just gonna, again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this blue in. That's probably way too much. There we go. Make your own garden gnome. That's what I'm trying to do right now for you. Painting this little guy's beard was definitely one of my favourite things to do. For some reason, adding colour to it really did add depth to the character and made him sort of come alive. So I've done a, an accidental, some accidental smudging, um, but this is after one coat. I'm gonna go off camera. <laughs> off camera, I'm gonna do a couple more coats. I might change some of the colours a little bit. We'll see. So I will see you after that's done. Before it is night time now, I have done a lot. <laughs> this is what. Oh no. Oh, it's okay. This is what my guy looks like at the minute. <laughs> he looks a little bit like Father Christmas, which I wasn't expecting. For some reason, I wasn't expecting, even though I should have. When we look at this guy on here, the way they've stopped him from looking like Father Christmas is by drawing stripes. But again, what I need to remind myself is that this is a photoshopped image. <laughs> It isn't real life so I don't know whether to change the colour of the coat whether to draw some little stripies on but basically I think that that's enough for right now but what I'll do is I'll carry on working on him this evening and tomorrow if it's not raining I'll put him in the garden and then we can see him in the garden but yeah let's get a real close-up shall we This is the last image that you are going to see of this lovely little gnome before the final reveal so I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what went on between those two images. So we did probably another five coats of colour on his hat, I then added some highlights in his eyes and on his boots, then I used a metallic bronze colour on his belt buckle and his buttons and then probably about three coats of varnish on top to protect him from the weather. 